Life is crazy. It's truly unpredictable. It can change in the blink of an eye. Everything you take for granted can disappear in lickety split. Hi, I'm Charles Quackenbush, and I believe that we should live every day like it's our last. In a single instant, life can change in good ways and bad ways that may affect the rest of our lives. Whether we were having a great time and something bad happened, or you lost a loved one you were close to, life is unpredictable. I've learned to expect the unexpected and to not take anything for granted. One evening last year, I was playing football at BHS, catching divers onto a big pole vaulting mat. We were having a great time until my friend Jack got seriously hurt. You already heard this story in his chapel talk, so you know the injury was bad. He couldn't get up, and I was terrified. We were just having fun, doing something we'd done tons of times before. How could, he, how could he have gotten so hurt? I called Jack's dad, and he was rushed to the hospital to find out he'd done major damage to his kidney. Honestly, until that moment, I never realized how fragile we are, how easy it is to break a human body. Like all kids, I sort of thought we were invincible. Jack is a great guy and he's really tough. You already know how he got through that frightening experience with the help of his family and friends and how he learned to be grateful for his health. I've learned a lot from the way he bounced back, but I'll never forget the lesson. With one leap into the air, everything can change. Take a moment to imagine if you live in the North Bay or LA or any of those areas where the ferocious fires destroyed homes last year. One day, you're happily living your life, and the next you have to evacuate, not knowing if your house will survive. The fire victims had no clue what was coming. No one was ready. The schools that were affected by the fires up north reopened a few weeks ago. And now kids can go back to class. Even though these fires destroyed half of their campus, a school in Santa Rosa celebrated being back together after a 15-week break. We're a close community, closer even now, said the head of school. One-sixth of the students lost their homes. Listening to the members of the school community talk about their experience makes one thing clear. The way you survive and recover from something as devastating as losing your home is through friendship and community. A reporter asked one student, would you have made it through without this community? And the student answered, no. The kids helping each other made it possible for the school to bounce back. We can learn an important lesson from these survivors, no matter what comes our way. If we stick together, if we help each other, if we're generous, and we never stop caring, we can get through anything. I can relate to these stories personally, because one day my life changed suddenly too. For most of my life, I enjoyed family dinners and road trips, and I had the comfort of having both my parents in the same house by my side to help me with my homework and my life's ups and downs. But in one of those famously fast eye blinks, all of that changed when I was 10. My parents no longer got along and they needed to separate. My mom moved out and I stayed with my dad and my sister. No more full dinner tables, no more fun trips as a whole family. Also, no more spending holidays together. No more waking up on Christmas with everyone I loved in one place to celebrate and give presents to each other. I was really sad for myself and my sister and also for my dad and mom because they lost a lot too. My parents' divorce was the worst thing that I could imagine ever happening. At first, I had no idea how to get over it. But there's a kind of freedom that comes when the worst thing you can imagine has already happened, and you're still carrying on. I started to live my life like each day is the last on this planet, determined to leave nothing undone and have no regrets. I live more in the present, and I'm a lot more grateful for every wonderful moment I have because I'm, I never know if it could be the last time I enjoy it. I learned that feeling sad and losing the most important thing really hurts. It hurts more than I could have expected, as bad as Jack's crushed kidney, maybe, but I survived. I learned how to cope with devastating feelings and that if I feel them again, they still won't kill me. I also became a more flexible person because I adjusted to so many changes. This prepares me for my future, which will inevitably bring more change. Every day in chapel, we pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples, which says, give us today our daily bread. This is a reference to when the Israelites were freed from slavery in Egypt. When they wandered in the wilderness, God sent them special bread from heaven called manna every day. They were only supposed to gather enough bread for one day at a time and trust that God would provide for them again the next day. 
If they gathered more than they needed, they found that the bread rotted and got worms in it. Because they had been slaves, it was hard for them to trust in God. They always feared what the next day would bring. In the Lord's Prayer, we are asking God to provide for us for just one day, which means we are choosing to live in the moment and to trust that whatever tomorrow brings, we will be okay. For my yearbook quote, I chose a line from the famous rapper Eminem. The truth is, you don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. Life is a crazy ride and nothing is guaranteed. It's a hard thing to hear, much less to think about, that at any moment, everything can change. But if you take a deep breath and go deeper than fearing that change, you can find something solid to hold on to. One thing is, your family, friends, and community. The folks who will always be there for you. Just like my mom is here for me. Even though she lives in Sausalito now. The other, th <clears throat> the other thing is yourself. You are stronger, tougher, and more flexible than you realize. You will, be, you will be able to handle anything that comes at you. So give it a try. Live every day like it's your last, and don't take things for granted. Because you never know what is going to happen tomorrow. But don't be afraid. Trust your family, your friends, and yourself. You will survive, and you will find a way to thrive. Live for the moment, and you will feel more free and happy than you could ever imagine. Thank you.